welcome back guys so this is question 33 and today we are going to talk about the development of truth table for each of the SOP expressions okay so last time we have developed a truth table for a complete standard SOP expression okay here we have some expressions which we can see that are not in the standard form okay so let us talk about part a of our question and here we can see that here we have the domain for it is this is part a and the domain for it is what domain for part a is a b and c okay so the domain for it is a b c and we can see that this is not in the standard form so let me write it here it is a prime b plus a b c prime okay plus a prime c prime plus a b prime c okay so we have this expression and here the missing terms are let me write them here the missing term is c here this is all terms are available here the missing term is b okay so what we have to do we have to use the c plus c prime here okay i have to use it here and multiply it with this term and similarly b plus b prime i have to use it here and multiply it with this term okay so let me write it so writing it what i will get i will have a prime b and with that c plus c prime okay similarly plus a b c prime plus a prime c prime and with it i have to multiply b plus b prime and with it the last term and that is here a b prime c okay. so let me multiply these terms so multiply it with all the terms here and multiply this one with all the terms here and rearranging it let me write them here so after rearranging it what i will get i will get here a prime b c plus a prime b c prime okay similarly a b c prime plus here it will be a prime and rearranging it i will get b c prime okay similarly plus a prime b prime c prime okay and this one a b prime c okay so let me first find the duplicate terms if there is any available so a prime b c uh, is the, is there any other term like this one so there is no term like this one so this is the only one a prime b c prime so is there anyone else yes this one is so let me remove it from here so let me remove it it will remain here a prime b c prime and a b c prime here anyone here no nothing is here so it will remain a prime b prime c and this one okay so the terms here we got are the a prime b c plus a prime or a complement b c complement plus a b c complement plus a complement b complement c complement plus a b complement c so we have these values and in order to write the binary values for each of them let me use the blue color okay so this blue color so the binary value for this term will be what this is a prime so here zero and here it will be one one zero one one for this term i will have what for this term i will have zero one zero because he is also prime for this term i will have one one zero for this term i will have 0 0 0 okay and for the last term here i will have 1 0 1 okay so these are what these are the binary values for my expression okay so what we have to do the domain here is i have is abc so in order to draw the truth table what i have to do let me write the domain variables so domain variables are a b c okay and with that i have to write the output the output is here okay 
So, now let me write all the combinations of A, B and C which are possible. So, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 1, 0, 1, 0 and 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0 and the last one is 1, 1, 1. Okay. What we have to do? We have to search for all the binary values which are available here and make them equal to 1 as we did in our previous question. So, 0, 1, 1. Where is 0, 1, 1? Let me use the blue color as well. So, 0, 1, 1 is this. Okay. This is 0, 1, 1. 0, 1, 0 is this. Okay. 1, 1, 0. This is 1, 1, 0. This is triple 0. Okay. And 1, 0, 1 these are. So, let me write their values. So, here it will be 1, it will be 1, it will be 1, okay. It will also be 1 and 1 as well and all the remaining terms will be 0, okay. So, this is basically the truth table which we have developed for our part A and this is the answer of our part A as well in which the condition is to first convert the available sum of product expression to the standard expression and then finding the binary values and after it developing the truth table for it. Okay. So, that is it for today in our, and in our uh, upcoming video we will try to solve the part B of this question and uh, try to understand all the steps which we have taken here in this question and uh, with the same condition we will start solving part b of this question in our upcoming video. Till then take care of yourself and I will see you soon.